It is a time of grieving for the West Noble High School community after a student athlete died in a car crash just yesterday. Four Wayne's NBC reporter Jeff Newmeyer joins us live tonight with more on the latest on a series of crashes involving West Noble students and teachers. Jeff? Yeah, Tom, Linda, you know, uh, we've already said it, the fact that there's really a lot of people looking forward to this very first night of high school football in our area. Up at West Noble High School, north of Fort Wayne, a standout soccer player is being mourned uh, after a, a deadly crash. 17-year-old Anthony Reyes uh, was driving his pickup truck uh, on Thursday on a country road in Elkhart County, not far from his school. He swerved left of center, lost control, and hit a tree. A soccer teammate uh, in the, uh, the vehicle suffered minor cuts, but Reyes lost his life. The school's athletic director tweeted out pictures of Reyes and the team, offering prayers and support for friends and family. They kept the lights on at the high school soccer field last night to pay tribute to Reyes. It will take some time to recover from the loss. And you can feel it. You can feel the, the sort of a grief through, through the whole district. Um, there's a tightness. There's a closeness. Um, when you lose a teacher, when you lose a classmate, um, those things oftentimes help you remember what, what's really important. Uh, it's pretty remarkable. I mean, he was 17 years old, and uh, you know, he's made quite an impact with our community and with our, with our school here. And I mean, that's, that's inspirational in itself. Uh, we're going to miss him. We're going to miss him a lot. Now, it's even tougher for the West Noble family when you realize deadly traffic crashes have plagued that community for years. In February of last year, a pair of West Noble students who were sisters died along with their father when their vehicle went off the road and into the Elkhart River. Last summer, beloved cross-country coach Chuck Schlemmer died when a drunk driver hit and killed him while he was riding his bicycle. And the, uh, that really only scratches the, the surface, Tom and Linda. You've got uh, you know, Ethan and Shauna Kaiser. Alma Delgadillo, David Boggs, and others, they've all lost their lives in crashes in recent years. Uh, it was back in 2011, two separate crashes occurred within five minutes of each other uh, that killed two different West Noble seniors and yet another life lost here that is now having to be remembered. So, uh, so much tragedy for one community to take on. Uh, Jeff, thanks for bringing light to this latest incident. Uh, and our thoughts and prayers are with his family tonight. Jeff Newmeyer reporting live. Thank you, Jeff.